Manchester United is trying to improve their squad with uh, good players that can help them to compete in the English Premier League and also fight for the Europa title as uh, Eric Tanghag side Tari. They have been losing matches here and there and the team want to be more competitive so they need great players that can help them win uh, the league and also be active in the footballers English Premier League. We'll be talking about that one because they want to sign this fantastic young player and also we'll be talking about uh, Gar Neville, Charlie, the guy says that Michaelisian is one of the most underrated players in the English Premier League era because you think that Michaelisian was a beast for Chelsea for over uh, that's a, or getting to a decade. Isian was a beast for Chelsea. We're talking about these two issues right now, right here. This is Betty News TV. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You hit the notification bell. You select all you like uh, this very video and also you comment uh, under the comment section or on the comment section. Then also you let me know what you think about it. Uh, Manchester United. What is going on in Manchester United? Team leader said the Atletia Pro. So which one should we start from? Asian or the player that Manchester want to sign that's a Ghanaian winger Leicester from Michaelis and the legend in a Manchester United legend Gary Neville has named a former Black Stars and Chelsea midfielder Michaelis as one of the most underrated players in the history of the Premier League. Uh, Neville said Asian was brilliant for Chelsea but the Ghanaian didn't get a uh, deserved recognition for how uh, impactful he was for the Blues over uh, the years. The former Manchester United defender uh, named uh, Asian as one of the most underrated players on Monday Night Football show as the English Premier League celebrated uh, 8th, 30th anniversary. A player that played a top, uh, a top Premier League club that did not get uh, the praise of our others was Michael Asian at Chelsea. In those uh, first, two, first two or three years, the impact he had on the team uh, from his running ability, energy in the midfield, balancing of uh, Frank Lampard, I thought Asian was a brilliant player. So that's what God never said uh, during uh, Monday Night Football in uh, England, Charlie Sano, can I see you saying that Charlie, the guy was fantastic. Just, hey, you know, Charlie, no run off. Uh, everybody knows that when Asian was active in the Charlie, no, a killer, or a killer, or a killer, or a killer. So that's all that never said. No, Michael Asian in nine years at uh, Chelsea made 256 appearances, winning two Premier League titles, four FA Cups, the Champions League, and also the League Cup. His incredible work rate and him the nickname the Bision, the Bision. You know, I Asian retired from uh, the football, retired from football in 2020, and uh, be began his uh, coaching career. He began his coaching career. Currently, Asian is working with Denmark side FC Nordland. So that's what's going on. Asian now is a coach. He retired from active football in 2020 and started his coaching career. But God never says that I think that my Asian deserved more more applause, more accolade, more recognition than he received when he was in Chelsea because Charlie, the guy was a fantastic player. Because of uh, AC and that's why we have 90% of our uh, Ghanaian fans who support uh, European teams, support Chelsea. But that's the truth, you know. Now let's talk about Manchester United trying to sign Ghanaian winger. You know, uh, record holders of the English Premier League, the Manchester United, have reportedly joined the race to sign um, winger Callum Hanson Odoi from Rivers Chelsea. Sky Sports reported days ago that the English born Ghanaian winger has told Chelsea that he wants to leave the club in search of regular first team at football ahead of the 2020. To FIFA World Cup. The World Cup is about when you active football, more power, and also World Cup in the end. You're about Pian Vanco, a Samojan, so called World Cup without playing active football for two years. Or doing all Jania Kobe, Bia Kobe, Bia Bon. You know, Manchester United, according to even Standard, have joined the race as they target two players from Chelsea. I said Callum Hansen uh, or Doy. Callum Hansen or Doy was left out of Thomas Tuchel's a match day squad as Chelsea got the their first 2022-2023 season win and uh, away with one victory over Everton at Goodison Park Saturday, uh, August 6th. He was not also a part of the team that drew 2-2 against Tottenham Hotspur match day 2 at Stamford Bridge on uh, Sunday 14th, uh, 
the 14th uh, uh, August 2020. Uh, 20. To Callum has now Doy has made 126 appearance for Chelsea, scoring 16 goals since making his debut in a 2017-2018 late season for Chelsea the Blues. So this is what is going on. McLeishan, uh, I never think McLeishan is a beast and a fantastic player that he deserves more accolade uh, from the Chelsea fans and also from the English Premier League. And also Manchester United is preparing a very big deal for uh, Callahan Snowder because although he want to leave and also uh, Manchester want to beef up their squad for great, 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 great 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 world cup that you want to be part of the world cup so this is bid news tv this is the story that is going on let me know what you think about these two issues uh subscribe to the channel comment comment you hit notification bell then you select all you select all then also don't forget to share this very video with your friends this is bid news and my name is kofi atinka atinka one